በእኛም በኩል እግዚአብሔር ድል እየሰጠ በእናንተ በኩል እግዚአብሔር ድል እየሰጠ አሜን የድል አምላክ ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ በእያመቱም እንደዚህ ስለሚያገናኘ ኢየሱስ ይመስገን ኢየሱስን በጣም በጣም እና መሰግነዋለን ኢየሱስ ይመስገን እዚህ ከተገኘውባት ጊዜ ጀምሮ የእግዚአብሔር መንፈስ እየጎበኘ እኔም አብርያቹ እየተጎበኘው ነው እግዚአብሔር ይመስገን አሜን ታዋት ወንድማ የለ የእግዚአብሔር መልእክት በእሱ በኩል እየተላለፈ ይያለ በጣም ነበር ልብ እየተሰበረ የነበረው እግዚአብሔር ይመስገን እስቲ አንዴ እኔም ደሞ እግዚአብሔር ጸጋውን አብዝቶ ይሄን ያህል ኪሎ ሜትር መጭን ሰው መጥቶ እግዚአብሔር ካላናገረው በስተቀር ቀላል አይደለም እስቲ እና መስገድ እግዚአብሔር ጌታ ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ሆይ እና መሰግነሃለን ጌታ ኢየሱስ እና ከብራሃለን ስለ ፍቅርን ስለ መረጥ እና መሰግነሃለን እዚ ጉባኤ ማከል ስለአለ እና መሰግነሃለን ይሄን ጉባኤ ሰበሰብ ከአምላክ እና መሰግነሃለን ጌታ ኢየሱስ ይያንዳንዳችንን ጌታው የምታውቀን አምላክ የምትመለከተን አምላክ ጌታ ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ሆይ ለኛ መልካምን የምትሻ አምላክ እስከ ሰማይ ድረስ ለትሽከመን ጌታ ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ሆይ ፈቀድ ካምላክ ኢየሱስ ምንም አልጎደለንም ካንተ ጌታው ከኛ ይጎደለ ብዙ ነገር አለ ግን ካንተ ይጎደለ ነገር የለም እና መሰግነሃለን እና ከብራሃለን ይሄን ሰዓት አንተ ተረክበን እንድታስተመረን እንድትጎበኘን እንድትናገረን ጌታ ኢየሱስ መቀጠታ ድምጽ ወደ የልባችን ወደ ያብሯችን እንዲገባ ጌታ ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ሆይ ላንተ ጊዜውን ማሳለፈን እንሰጣለን በኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ስም እግዚአብሔር ይባርካችሁ እግዚአብሔር ይመስገን እንቀመጥ የእግዚአብሔር ቃል ባህሪያት ስራ ምዕራፍ 11 ላይ አነባለሁ አው ቢጊን ባይ ዊንግ ፍሮም አክስ ቻፕተር 11 ባህሪያት ስራ ምዕራፍ 11 ቁጥር 18 ላይ verse 18 ወይም ከ16 ልጀምረው beginning verse 16 ዮሐንስ ጎሃ አጠመቀ እናንተ ግን በመንፈስ ቅዱስ ተጠመቃላችሁ ያለው የጌታ ቃል ትዛለኝ እንግዲህ እግዚአብሔር በጌታ በኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ላምን ነው ለኛ ደግሞ እንደሰጠን ያን ስጦታ ለነርሱ ከሰጠ እግዚአብሔርን ለመከልከል እችል ዘን እኔ ማን ነበር ይህን በሰሙ ጊዜም ዝም ማሉና ንንቂያስ እግዚአብሔር ለሐዛብ ደግሞ ለህይወት የሚሆን ንስሐን ሰጣቸው እያሉ እግዚአብሔርን አከበሩ Verse 16 Durgam then remember I the word of the Lord how that he said John and be baptized with water but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost for as much as then as God gave them the like gift as he did unto us who believed on the Lord Jesus Christ what was I that I could withstand God when they heard these things they held their peace and glorified God saying then have God also to the Gentiles granted repentance unto life የመጨረሻው መልሰን ታነባታል እንቂያስ እግዚአብሔር ለሐዛብ ደግሞ ለህይወት የሚሆን ንስሐን ሰጣቸው ለህይወት የሚሆን ንስሐን ሰጣቸው I will emphasize the word that says then have God also to the Gentiles granted repentance unto life እግዚአብሔር ይመስገን በዚህ ምሽት የምናገረው ለህይወት የሚሆን ንስሐ የሚል ነው and this evening I'm going to speak about repentance unto life እግዚአብሔር የተመሰገነ ይሁን ለህይወት የሚሆን ንስሐ This is a repentance that's uh, uh, abundant for life. ይሄ ንስሐ በጣም የሚገርም ንስሐ ነው This is an amazing kind of repentance. እነዚህ ሰዎች ይሄንን ቃል የተናገሩት ለሐዛብ መንፈስ ቅዱስ ከፈሰሰላቸው በኋላ ያን ታሪክ ሐዋርያው ጴጥሮስ ከተናገረ በኋላ እንቂያስ ለሐዛብ እግዚአብሔር ለህይወት የሚሆን ንስሐ ሰጣቸው This happened after the Holy Ghost was poured on the Gentiles that's when Peter stated those things ምን ያሳየናል ይሄ አይነት ንስሐ መንፈስ ቅዱስ የሚያወርድ ንስሐ what it tells us is this kind of repentance brings down the holy ghost hallelujah እኛ ዛሬ የምንፈልገው ንስሐ ንስሐ ከገባን አይቀር መነካካት ሳይሆን መነካካት ሳይሆን መንፈስ ቅዱስን የሚያወርድ ሰማይ የሚከፍት ንስሐ መላእክትን የሚያወርድ ንስሐ የእግዚአብሔርን ክንድ የሚያንቀሳቀስ ንስሐ Yep, you hold the sun. The kind 
and repentance we speak about is not something we just dabble in, but it's a repentance that leads unto life. It's a repentance that brings down the Holy Ghost. It's a repentance that is to salvation. Say, I didn't mess up, It's a repentance that binds the enemy. But life for hot and bizarre, and so. It's the kind of repentance that brings fear on the enemy.
Hallelujah. Beginning verse 1. Therefore, it's coming. there were present at that season some that told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Jesus answering said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, because they suffered such things? I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Or those eighteen upon whom the tower of Siloam fell, and slew them, think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwell in Jerusalem? I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. And again, I will also read in Luke chapter 18, verse 9. The Pharisee, hearing that the publican was being repentant, he said, I'm so thankful I'm not like this man, just because you heard him repent. God is such a just God, because this one wouldn't repent, he took the sins of the one that repented and laid it all on the one that thought he was Lord, is it me? He didn't answer. 
answer them because he wanted them to be in their own, to search their hearts and cry out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God loves repentance. And not just a kind of repentance, but a serious, a mean repentance. He wants a repentance that brings life, that opens the heavens, that binds Satan. That's the kind of repentance he's looking for. Hallelujah! 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 In John chapter 8. The Pharisees brought a, a, an adulterous woman to Jesus. They said, this woman is supposed to be stoned according to the law of Moses. What say ye? You see, Jesus wanted everyone to come repentance. The problem or the situation was just about that adulterous woman. It's just about that woman. God doesn't just singularly speak to one person in this congregation. He speaks to everyone. They brought one single woman to him. And they were pointing at who? To the lady. They said, this woman is caught in adultery. They said, what do you say about her? He said, I don't speak for her, I'm going to speak to everyone. He wrote down, he said, anyone that doesn't, who would not sin, let him cast the first stone. He opened the conscience of the, the, the Pharisees to see their own sin. Let's quietly begin to tell them to repent. <laughs> and the other one said, repent. Yes, I did. We began to count all the sins of each and every one of those people. It was in their mind. We started beginning to shake them. And one of us, one of one of them said, for me to repent, I, I, I can't do it. <laughs> and as he was, as the conscience was convicting him, they still walked away even though they knew they should repent. He ran away. <laughs> I speak to you tonight when God convicts you and puts something in your mind and your conscience to repent don't leave these doors without being obedient to the word of God that's speaking to your mind don't fight it Jesus God is not, uh, he's, he, he, it's not over till he says it's over. Jesus Mahari Amlakinu, Bamakala Chinia, Lo Mahari Amlakinu, At Abi Amlakinu, Anchi Amlakinu, Mahari Amlakinu. He's a merciful God. He's the one that who tells us to return to him. His loving kindness is better than life. Hallelujah. Nisas and Nigaba, Matraya is where I'm at Adam, Nisas and Nigaba, Tabu is where I'm at Adam. When we come to him in repentance, he doesn't come with an axe, but he comes with his blood to wash us. If we walk away from this place without being obedient to God's word, the 
that there's someone with a sword following us trying to destroy our lives. But if we're obedient to God's word, he's here with his blood to wash us. And in 1 John chapter 1 verse 7, If we say we're without sin, then we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. But if we if we confess our sins, and he is faithful and just. I want to speak about something that's critically important tonight. If you can't repent, if you can't repent tonight, let me say maybe your heart is just hardened and you just you can't bring yourself to repent. You just can't see yourself repenting right now. No matter how much you struggle, try to get it out of yourself, maybe your conscience is just not saying anything to you right now. You're just going to sit idle and watch. Maybe just because you see others doing something, you're going to try to imitate what they're doing. Maybe. Maybe. You're going to give it half effort. You're just going to kind of go through the motions. I want to tell you because you're right there. I want to tell you because you're right there. If there is no emotion, 
that's even more of a reason to repent, to say, I don't feel anything, I must repent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 It's the kind of repentance that brings fruit. Note and load sound. Brings change. Messiah in Rafa has a mental grass and a soft leg. In Psalm 28, verse 13. Padgatunia Missaur Ailama. Yamina says a button now. Yamita what? Mehret Yaganya. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. But who, whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Ayatu, menazazin, matau, yemi katala. Menazazin, matau, yemi katala. What follows uh, leaving the sin that is that brings it from the confession stage? Yeah, nisau, makaran. But I'm sincere, Bono, Nisamagum Yamagabat, Derejano, Saul, Tanazo, and Dain Melasim Yadam. What brings real transformation is the sincerity of that repentance that leads to confession and that leads to never going back to that sin. Hallelujah. Tonight we're gonna bury it and leave it here in this place. We're not gonna have any vacancy or parking available for sin. A lot of you brought your car and you parked it outside and when you're in here there's no cars here but when you leave you get back in that same car. That's not the kind of repentance I'm talking about. You're not going to drive that sin back to your home. It's not the kind of repentance that you make an appointment with you saying, I'm going to get back to you later. That's not it. It's going to be destroyed in this place. You're never going to go back to it. Uh, uh, something really amazes me and it's not so that you say what others have said. When Jesus amongst the disciples he said, one of you is going to betray me. Be a copycat because even Judas, because he heard the disciples say, Lord, is it me? Even though he had already done the deed and signed the paperwork, he still said, Lord, could it be me? Jesus. It's not like that. God, it's not his will that any should perish. My brothers, I'm telling you tonight, God does not want anyone to perish. So he gives the chance of repentance. 
ማን ያው ቃል ይሄ ኮንፈረንስ ላንዳንዶቻችን የመጨረሻ የንስራ አድል ቢሆን who knows if this is the last chance for some of us to repent at this conference ብዙ ሰዎች ንስራ የንስራን እድል በመክንያት ይዘሉታል many people skip the chance of repentance because of excuses አዳም እግዚአብሔር በጣም በለሰለሰ ቋንቋ ወደሱ መጣ ከያንን ፍሬ ከበላ በኋላ when adam had sinned and ate the fruit god came to him in a way that was very soft spoken adam hoy wedetin yakal he said adam where are you atbla yalkun zaf bella Said, did you eat of the fruit that I that I forbade? Adam, instead of saying, "Lord, yes, I did eat that fruit," and falling before God and repenting, he said, "It's because of that woman that you gave me." So he just passed over. And a lot of us look for excuses at the time of repentance. He jumped over that chance for repentance. Today. Today we need to be in a mindset that's full of repentance not to say I'm in this situation because of my wife because of my kids my job let's go let go of all the excuses and say God today is the day of repentance I agree we won't make excuses reasons to jump over and ha- have repentance let's not let this chance pass us because god does not want anyone to perish he gives daily a chance for repentance hallelujah hallelujah what is your heart saying to you right now algaba algabam kalachu sel algabachu nisu amagbata If you're not understanding if it's not sinking in then we can't because it's not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know why he made John the Baptist such a powerful preacher of repentance? The, he said you know you, you're vipers and, and, and scorn of the earth when he chose him he said so that he doesn't eat somebody's bread he didn't drink of anybody's water so he didn't live with anybody nobody clothed him that's what he did He wasn't indebted to anyone he wasn't obligated to anyone so he could say whatever he wanted to anybody whatever he wanted Hallelujah 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 Exavi Masjid Hallelujah Ayachu Exavi bizu tamrat bezi ager indemisara bizu negerochin Exavi befitachin inda aqadellen iyenegerenno inya demo men ihenen amen bile yegetan menge God has given us promises he's spoken all the things he's going to fulfill so what we're doing tonight is we're preparing the way we're making way through our repentance so that what follows has a path to go through today God is going to visit us the visitation of God is upon us He presented something that was unacceptable. 
and God came to him. He, he, he spoke very softly. He said, Cain, why is your face darkened? He said, sin is calling for you from far away. He said, sin is knocking at your door. Be, repent before it's too late. So, so, yes, he's a man, so yes, I like I think he is born before his time. <laughs> Cain is, I think, ahead of his time, and he's really more like this generation. This is my choice. <laughs> he said, Why is he concerned? Why does he care? If, if I'm frowning or if I'm happy, why does he care? This is my personality. Don't use the excuse of personality, mood disorder, or whatever to, to escape being repentant in Jesus' name. He skipped over his chance again. It's a cry that's blaming the mom. He's blaming his father. He's blaming his brother. 
He's crying. It's not repentance. He's blaming people. My mom hadn't done this. Man. With my dad. With my brother. Get rid of the spirit of Esau that makes you to start believing that I'm this way because my mom raised me this way, my dad does this to me, or and we start blaming the past and that same I was raised this way and, 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 and start blaming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. This is the result of that. Yeah, Whose spirit is that? Don't skip over repentance by saying all these things. The, uh, our fathers from the years past. In the Bible. Our fathers in the Bible, they didn't use the, the oppression they faced from their parents or whoever as an excuse, but rather they repented for the sins of their fathers so that it would be blotted out from their entire generation. And God is looking for us to stand today and say, no matter what anybody has done for me, I'm going to stand and be repentant. No excuse. Hallelujah. Esau. Esau. He blamed his mom. He blamed his dad. He blamed his brothers. He never spoke about the day that he sold his birthright to his brother because that was just somewhere in the kitchen. It's somewhere in that kitchen when he was hungry. He doesn't bring that up. Hallelujah. Whenever God brings to remembrance that thing that we did in the back of the hidden places. Hallelujah. I'm going to speak as, as someone who's speaking the word of God in these places today. Amen. Say amen. Tamaskan, 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 Glory to God, Tamaskan, Glory to God. We'll read from Genesis chapter 35. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've come to a place of repentance tonight. Verse 1 through 5.
And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel, and dwell there, and make thee an altar unto God that appeared unto thee. When thou fleddest from the face of Esau thy brother, then Jacob said unto his household and to all that were with him, Put away the strange gods that are among you, and be clean, and change your garments. And let us arise and go up to Bethel, and I will make thee an altar unto God, who answered me the day of my distress, and was with me in the way which I went. And they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hands, and all their earrings which were in their ears. And Jacob hid them under the oak which was by Shechem. And they journeyed, and the terror of God was upon the cities that were round about them, and they did not pursue after the sons of Jacob. Isn't it amazing while Jacob was repenting and burying the things he needed to bury, God was working so that none, none of the enemies was able to uh, to attack him. There was no swords. There was fear around among them. God is working all around about as we repent to just as they did. When repentance is going forth round about, God was sending fear and doing the battle. Hallelujah. Rukan Babuzu Kaskasa Babuzu Murmara Abato Abimara Murat Yala Tachun Yabato and Taut Yanila Tach in those are gate I Jesus Lezamanat Basant Sabaki and what town Zarebia or Town Nabias Kabir Hallelujah. Today my prayer is to reveal the things that we've been hiding for years, just as with Rebecca did is she revealed the, the, the idol that she had been carrying for years and generations and, and decades and she finally revealed it because it was a time. Rachel. Hallelujah. As I'm, as I'm closing, I'm going to read from Luke chapter 3. Hallelujah. Let tonight be a night where we find true repentance, not listening to others repent, but that we find our place of repentance. Nobody's got to beg us to pray, nobody's got to probe us, but we got to begin to understand and be wise about these things. Hallelujah, Lucas Luke chapter 3. Verse 3 to 6. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, you have a carrier to go to your hands from the Lebanon. But if you say yes, Kalmas Alpha get on Mangada Zagadu, the Gaon Matu Yale Bemid Let it 
ምድር ተራራ አይደለም ያሚናገረው ስለ ያንዳንዳችን የልብ ተራራ it's not speaking about the mountains of the earth the, the natural but your heart stay 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 to it do it let it come way down shall it oh you know let the let the valleys be filled chill in nagar let me say this and then so some people and then the christian some christians እኔን እግዚአብሔር ይቅር አይለኝም የኔ ነገር ልክ ኢሳይያስ ምዕራፍ 40 እንዳለ ፍርዴ ከአምላኬ አልፋልች በቃ የኔ ነገር በእግዚአብሔር አይ ዋጋ የለውም ራሱን እዛይ ታች ያወረደ ሰው አለ አንተ ምንሳ አገባ እግዚአብሔርን እንደዛ ሰለሳልከው እንደዛ አይነት እግዚአብሔር አይደለም እግዚአብሔር እግዚአብሔር እንደዛ አይነት እግዚአብሔር አይደለም እግዚአብሔር እዛ when it says let the valleys be filled some christians they think they they have no hope they've given up all hope that my sin is so great i can never find repentance i can never find forgiveness i'm the lowest of lows and they think they're they're, they're right in that belief but you need to repent from that mentality because that's not who god is that's a misunderstanding of who jesus is he wants to fill the valleys that means his the mountains korabta in the high places zikibet let it come down and andochi demo begziaber merat yemizenetu sewoch allu begziaber merat na tsaga iye takuraru indefelegacho yeminoru igziaber ya tsade allacho yemimeslach hatat yemiyachamalqu sewoch allu and wallow in 